this video, welcome to Mark's Reviews and Tutorials by the way, this video is going to be about how to extend your fence up a little bit. There's lots of different options you can do. You can get great big panels like they've got over there um, and that sort of system, a big frame and a big panel keeps you privacy from extending past a balcony or something like that. Um, there's systems like this with the old uh, woven sticks. Again, gives you privacy. They look pretty shocking though after a time and they just attach on and screw up. And there's another one through here. You see the um, bamboo has been strapped onto the fence. Again, giving additional height and privacy on that there. But uh, what we decided we want to do was go natural. Um, you see, we've got some star jasmine in the ground here, a couple of different types. This one here, it's reached the top of the fence already. So what we're gonna do is actually just give that a wire to run along. And there's another one here. So now that they've reached the top, and they did that in such a hurry, it's absolutely incredible, the growth on these guys. So uh, this is the upright that we're gonna stick up here. And each one just goes onto the fence. You can see I've got this guy up here. Um, got some construction adhesive. Um, gluing them on two screws and the two wire holes ready for the wire to come through the top and uh, This one here We're just going to put onto this post. We've got a mark He um, actually goes up in behind the clothesline here. We've got a mark see there to line up with the top of the fence and then we um, Screw those in Okay, so we'll just get them all in place And then we get the spirit level, please. So once we've got the first screw in, we then make the adjustment to bring it to level, which is there. And then bring the second screw in. And you need screws that are at least the size of what you're going through again, so they're coming into here. And when I wobble that, the whole fence wobbles. It comes up really nice and strong. It'll be even stronger of course, when the glue takes. So they're ready now uh, for the wires to be poked through. An example, we put uh, two star jasmine in here. This is a slightly different variety, this one. You see they've grown right up to the top of the wall there and they're looking for somewhere to go. But these ones here, when we gave them somewhere to go, they absolutely loved the idea and are absolutely taken off like a train. Now these have a beautiful white flower and most importantly, they have a fragrance. But yeah, that is now here coming down across the way from where it is there. So just incredible growth, incredible length. So, and that's all happened within 18 months, those guys have been in and it's grown all that distance there. So star jasmine, and there's no flowers on the, mo on the moment, but you can see the buds there. So this here is um, about to explode in flowers and go all white again and have beautiful flowers everywhere. So here we go, this is where we've put them up. You can see there's just a couple of wires we've got going along here. Um, just wanting to raise the fence a little bit, not wanting to make it super high or anything like that. And again, this star jasmine, this is the same variety as the one that's gone really big time around the back. Um, that, since we bought it in the pot of the nursery, is only seriously about six or seven months. Absolutely loving where it is. And we're in a reasonably damp clay soil here. Um, giving it lots of uh, seaweed and lots of nutrients, really looked after it. and it's doing a treat. You see, we've just put these wires up today, um, but he's already up and at them, and they're going to start climbing along, which will um, block out those windows and give the privacy that we require around on this side. So really happy with the job. Um, I've shown you how I mounted the uh, boards in. You can see it there. The wires are just running through the hole. Uh, to this end, I actually just looped the wire. So just loop the wire around um, and then put the screw in. So it was a very solid framing there. And uh, yeah, again, I've shown you a couple of screws and glue in through there. Nice big screws and um, set these all up vertical. And down the end for the straining the wire, all I did was just pull it up with a pair of pliers. Here's the wire um, down here that's left for the rest of the job. But we just pulled it up with a pair of pliers. Literally, I just pulled it up tight by hand so that it tensioned uh, down there. And um, then just grabbed it, pulled it through with the pliers. And then as you can see here, 
just bent it round around to wind it and the same here round around to wind it and uh, these are solid as these are in really strongly mounted so that's going to do the job and uh, provide us the privacy we want along there we'll get those two star jasmine to um, come along have a look if you want to see how I built that little lean-to shed there or the door I'll put a couple of um, links up here for how I built the door just out of scrap timber and how I built the lean-to shed there's a few videos on that little guy there but uh, there you go I think this is going to be an absolutely gorgeous um, way of adding height to the fence without ugly timber being up there and it's going to have a beautiful fragranced um, flower.